Your mic. Yeah. Oh. How do I look? Am I okay? Got a couple of shot pretty. Thank you. What's your number? <laughs> How y'all doing? That was crazy. Wow, that was crazy for me. Sure. Uh, when Floyd was in here a few minutes ago, he said that you simply came to survive tonight. What is your response to that? It's tough. Um, you know, I knew I knew if it went the distance, I I I, I won, technically. Um, but that wasn't the game plan. When you're fighting a guy like Floyd, you know, the legend, the boxer, uh, kind of relying on him to to figure out the game plan and then just playing off his. Um, I, I think I, I got him with a good shot in that first round, which kind of threw him off a little bit. And, I mean, yeah, surviving against Floyd Mayweather, like, is great. He's my second opponent. He's my second opponent. Floyd Mayweather is my second opponent. And, and, and so, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, it's good. It was good fun. Was there a point where he really hurt you in the fight? No, no. Um, no, I, I, I never got I never got hurt. Um, he he worked the body more than I was used to in sparring. Um, when you got a guy like Floyd who has you know been doing this his whole life, he knows every single button. And uh, you know, yeah, he worked the body more than I um, had been used to. But nah, no, no, I'm, I'm used, I do neck exercises like we good. I do sit ups. Oh, I said that to him, bro. I was whispering <laughs> in his ear. He hit me in the stomach. I go, I, bitch, I do sit ups. Hi, Logan. This is Samuel Rodriguez of New Stitch Media. I was wondering, Floyd said you look like a great grappler. Would you ever try your luck in MMA? <laughs> yeah, I was, you know, I was grabbing him. I was grabbing him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd do MMA for sure because uh, I am a good grappler. You know, I'm a wrestler at heart, at heart, and I think it'd be silly of me not to, not to use it in boxing, you know, to the best of my ability. Sure, yeah. Logan. Con Congratulations. Thank you. People didn't give you a chance? Not a chance. I made a list of everyone who said I'd lose this fight. I made a list of everyone who said that Floyd was going to dictate exactly how it went. And I'm posting it like you're all fucked. Mike, Mike Tyson's on it. I love Mike Tyson, but he's on it. He told me on my own podcast, Floyd's going to beat his fucking ass. That's what he said. Floyd didn't beat my fucking ass, Mike. You, you've accomplished so much in life. Where does this rank this moment tonight? So, yeah, it's the best moment of my life. And... Uh, it's, it's, it's crazy because I, I, I try to be as present as possible and I try to, to take it all in and truly gauge how I'm feeling and, and, and what this moment is like. And on my podcast, I, I have super athletes come on and they talk about that what now moment. Um, and I, I had a, a, a mentor here who, who, who was close to me and before the fight, he caught me in the bathroom and he said, uh, he said as big as this is, this is just another a, a blip on your radar of life. And uh, you're gonna do great, and this is not the greatest thing you'll do. But it is big, you know. Uh, revel the moment, cherish the moment. But you're gonna go on to do bigger and better things. And you know, I'm ready for them right now. Like, who, like who's next? Hey, Logan, um, back here. So yeah, they were asking about MMA before. Obviously, you were at WrestleMania, and you know, you had an awesome. You sold the Stunner. It was a lot of fun for yourself, I'm sure. Do you see yourself maybe doing something like that? Because it seems to be, you know, go hand in hand with what you're doing now with the entertainment and that anytime I, I can entertain you know I'm 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 happy whether it's me getting in a boxing ring and, and and risking my life whether it's me you know getting stunner in the WWE uh, preparing for a match there um, a podcast like I just love entertaining I just like I just like making people happy you know um, with the stuff that I love doing and, and, and what I make and creative myself and of my life and that's 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 my dream uh logan uh ferrojas i heart media um how did it feel so you you make it to the ring and then obviously there's a bit of a waiting game between the performances and that logan i mean um, um uh, floyd makes his way down the aisle how was that that waiting game of, of of waiting for the biggest fight of your life i was waiting to get nervous i never did it scares me i bet makes me question my humanity I even, I asked Milton, 
and, and Jeff, I said, yeah, you know, Floyd's in the ring. I'm like, when am I getting in? Like, when is that moment going to happen? When am I going to get nervous? When is my heart going to, you know, start beating faster? And it just, like, never did. <laughs> I got to get checked out, dude. <laughs> Hey, Logan. Hey. I'm Scotty Shumble from Sports Realm. Um, so uh, is there a specific opponent that you are looking to go at first after this fight, and what would be the timetable for that? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I am such an infant in this sport. Mm -hmm. And regardless of the performance that was put on tonight, you know, this is my third fight. Against Floyd Mayweather, you know, I, I, this is my like second and a half, third year in the sport. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, let me get a little good, you know, and then, but sure, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll be putting on prize fights. That's the answer. Uh, I'm sure there's a list of opponents on Twitter. People chirping, saying this, saying that. I'll pick one. Make them fucking get embarrassed. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. All right, and uh, one last question. You just went eight rounds with arguably the best boxer ever. Like, how are you feeling? Is it's fucking crazy, yeah, man? Yeah, right. No, it's crazy. Yeah, it's good fucking for you. crazy, it's a dude. Big, a big deal. No, it's a huge deal. Good I don't. For but you. I can't. Like, I don't know what to make of it. It's I can't comprehend it. Turn up tonight. Turn up tonight. Yeah, right, I, right. I guess I don't know. Yeah. You're invited. Oh, for yeah. Let come me, on. Really? Yeah. Let's I'd love go. To come. Thank you. I'd love to come. Let's go. No, it feels great, man. It's surreal. It's um. Yeah. It's, it's incredible, man. You know, um, yeah, I don't know. Thank you. Um, Logan, hi. Um, um, you know, you, you said before the fight that you had been in the ring with, you know, a lot of uh, experienced boxers. You know, you've had uh, you know, the amateur fight, then you had the pro fight. Um, how different was it being in the ring with Floyd Mayweather Jr. compared to all the other guys that you've ever sparred with or boxed against? I mean, this goes without saying, but he's definitely the most skilled fighter that I've ever uh, went against. Any little error I made, um, he capitalized on, and uh, you know I felt that immediately. Uh, it's an honor. It, it, it's an honor, but I can't say I, I, you know I wasn't prepared. Um, he's a little little slower than I expected. I, I imagine his age is finally kicking in a little bit. Father time, fi even a specimen like Floyd Mayweather, I, I imagine. Um, he he could feel it a little bit. I saw some of his hooks. Um, yeah. Logan Golden TV from Ion South Florida. Two questions. What's that around your necklace? What is that? Is that a Pokemon? This is this is a, a Pokemon card. It's a BGS ten Charizard first edition Charizard. Uh, Estimated it, value. It's one of three in the world. It is my prized possession. Ever since I got this graded a ten. The momentum in my life has been crazy. This is my good luck charm. This is my prized possession. Um, estimated value. I mean, now, shit. This is a million dollar car, baby. Like this. This is the car that I walked out with to the Floyd Mayweather fight. This is a million dollar car. Get the close up. <laughs> now, speaking of opponents, last question: Would you ever consider fighting your brother? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. what? Jake? Jake? Yeah, yeah. Fighting Jake Paul? I don't know. I don't know, bro. We love each other, you know, but we also love putting on big shows maybe down the line. Again, give us a, give us some time to like acclimate in this sport a little bit. Like I think because we had uh, done so well on YouTube and um in other verticals, people hold us to, you know, to this to this top tier standard, which we're, we're happy to meet and, and and match as best we can, but at the end of the day, like we're just getting started. I'm 26 years old. The kid's 24. What happens when I'm 30? You know, where am I at? Where's he at? Like, let us let us get good at this sport. Let us take over a little more. Man, we're just getting started, and then, uh, yeah, keep putting on big shows, doing the best we can, inspiring people. It's a good life. Logan over here. Uh, back here. To your, to your left. Sorry. Did I? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. There's no judges. I wobbled him. That was crazy. The only, the only couple of times he's ever been wobbled is by you, Shane Mosley, Madonna. Was he wobbled? He was wobbled. A lot of wobbles. You, you 
Was he wobble? No. Let, let, let him say he wasn't wobble. We'll, we'll watch the replay. We'll watch the replay. No, we'll watch the replay. Logan, over here. I don't want any trouble, dude. I don't want any fucking trouble, dude. <laughs> Leave me out of this, dude. I got, I'm just a boy with a dream. Lo Logan, over here. Um, real Hello? quick, back here. So there's a lot of banter online, people saying, like, look, Floyd didn't really uh, try to put you away, and he wanted to put on a show and go all eight rounds. There's a lot of people saying you were just too big and too tough. Uh, you were in there. You took his shots. Did it feel like he was trying to put you out or, or carry you through eight rounds? Yeah, you could tell You could tell when he turned it on a little bit. Um, I think – I think. I mean, he, he, he blessed me with this opportunity, and I'm happy f about that, and I don't want to sit here after the fact – and you know talk shit but i think his age like finally came into play like i could see it you know he he he, he was coming forward he was putting the pressure on me and then he started breathing a little heavier around five and six stop coming forward you know and and, and and i had a second wind um and who i mean who knows you know i i it's my fucking second opponent like give me a break i don't know dude i'm happy like i'm gonna go jump in the water and get drunk Uh, Logan. Okay. Uh, Logan, uh, Michelle Joy Phelps with Behind the Gloves. This is actually for you and Jake because I just spoke with Adrian Broner and uh, he basically says he knocks both of your asses out. Is that a fight either one of you would take? Adrian Broner. <laughs> is that a f No, what? No. What? I don't know who you're talking about. Boo. Boo. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I'm going to go party, man. I'm going to get the fuck out of here and go get fucked up. Let's go.